All right, I think we are live. Um, so um, this is exciting. I uh, am actually streaming my, by myself today. Um, Jake is on a little thing that uh, we call vacation. And uh, I highly recommend taking one uh, at least once in your lifetime as an entrepreneur. Um, but yeah, glad he's getting some rest, um, but he'll be out today. So today I was gonna go through and kind of talk about um, some website problems, get kind of, we can kind of geek out a little bit on as far as um, different tech that we can use to get um, kind of a free uh, report as far as um, of kind of what's going on with your website and then kind of how to fix it. Now, I'm gonna drop a link in the comments um, for this. If you uh, don't have time to watch this whole video, any of that, there is a free um, report that I, I linked to um, at some point. I'm just gonna pull this up real quick. Um, web report, I'll, I'll pull this up here and let's see. Hopefully you guys can hear and see me okay. I'm doing a totally different um, streaming tech here. So let's go to this. There you go. Um, I'm gonna shrink myself down a little bit. Cool. Um, so if you go to this website, it, it's just start.anova.io slash web report. I'm gonna drop it in the comments so you guys have it. Um, and you can just put, plug your website in there and essentially just you know test it and get a lot of the feedback right there. So no need to um, watch the whole thing. Although I am gonna go through some specific websites in here and kind of um, test this out and kind of show you how it all works. So um, let me uh, get off of this, um, come back to that. Let me go ahead and just pull out. I did post something in Facebook. So a couple of you reached out and asked for specific uh, feedback. And so I'm gonna try my best to get at least two, maybe three people um, through this. I'm just gonna pull up some people that actually filled out the, the form here. Hang on one second. And we're, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do the re report and we're gonna um, test it out. So let's go here. Okay, so there was uh, Wayne. Um, let me uh, pull this up real quick. Just move in between different screens here. Um, so this was Wayne um, who posted and just asked for some feedback. So I'm gonna jump in and, and go through that. And I'll tag you guys in this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my video off because it is actually slowing my whole computer down more than I thought. So let me just, let me just shrink this down and get rid of it, I think. Um, and move this aside. Um, and let's see. So let me put, um, just gonna switch this over here. Hang on one second, guys. Um, okay, I think we're good. Hopefully you guys can see this okay, looks fine. Um, so this is the this is the website. So I'm gonna, there's definitely some feedback we can give as far as design and like how it all looks and all that. But the first thing I wanted to, to address is just going to this site. So I'm gonna put this in. Um, you hit test my website. It's gonna email it to, I'm send it to myself. Um, and I'm just gonna go to report. I think I actually pulled this up earlier. I'm just gonna jump to it. And I'm just gonna show you like how to read this first of all. So this will work for your website. Um, uh, yeah, StreamYard's great, uh, Destiny. This is, it's pretty awesome. Um, essentially what happens is you can jump between a bunch of different screens. And then I also have another app called Mm-hmm. So that's a whole nother video, but look up mmhmm.app. This is like a brand new app, super geeky. Um, part of the reason probably it's probably not like working perfectly just right at this moment. Um, but yeah, it works, it works really well. So, um, now I am seeing, um, hang on one second. I'm seeing that this is frozen. So let me just. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear me. <laughs> Sorry, we're dealing with some technical difficulties. This is not a StreamYard issue. This is actually this mm -hmm app that I was using. So I'm gonna share this screen. We're gonna do it all inside of StreamYard um, here, and I'm gonna simplify my tech. So um, 
there's this app called, mm -hmm, I don't know where that dropped off, mmhmm.app. And it's just a little, little tool you can use to kind of pull things in and out and, and do different um, kind of animations and stuff like that for your app. So it uh, looks like we're live again. I don't know if it cut out, so sorry about that. I will not use that app. It's definitely in beta and I am an early adopter. So I try everything once um, and test things out all the time. Um, so uh, let's jump into uh, to this real quick. Um, I went to the site here. Um, this is the report that gets spit out. So again, if you go check it out yourself, it's start um, dot Anovo, um, slash web report. Um, and then you can just fill that out. This is a free thing. You can just check it out. There's no real incentive. Uh, we don't get anything uh, from you for that. It's just a free report. So this site's actually in pretty good condition. Like what you can see here is there's good SEO. Um, there is good uh, usability, performance. So it's not, it's actually pretty good. The security is good. Um, so I'm gonna go through some of the most common issues. So typically with performance, there's issues with like bit larger images, it's just making the page slow. And then um, looks like there's some things with SEO, just some, I mean, uh, social here. So what you can do is you can actually just click on like the word performance here. Um, okay, there we go. Um, and it will scroll you down to like to the right area here. Um, and what that will do is we'll kind of just see what's going on. So like saying that the server is like pretty fast. So again, just green is good, red is bad, orange probably is like a warning. So getting all the page content loaded um, is a little slow. So it's about seven seconds. And then there's just like uh, to get everything fully loaded and it's actually 14 seconds. That's pretty, pretty slow. So if you go in here now, there's a bunch of, um, things going on here. And you don't have to be a developer to know this, but essentially just look at this. Like the, there's basically too much stuff coming in on this page. The biggest culprit with all these things is typically images. So there's a couple things you can do to resize the images. Um, that actually is not the, the case, although there are some large images here. So the way you can, you can test this is actually just um, hit this inspect element and I'm gonna sh put this into the same browser. Um, Little thing if you're in Brave or if you're in Chrome, you can even do it in, um, uh, you know, Saf uh, Safari has the same thing. You can just inspect a bunch of things. Now, don't get intimidated by this. There's a lot happening here. But what you can do is um, go to the network tab and then just refresh the page. And what it's going to do is going to go and like basically load every single element that's coming on your page. So I don't know if you know, but like your website has like 50 to 200 different. Um, things that get loaded um, all at the same time when you load the website. So you're just happening so fast, you really don't notice it. So I can immediately see that this is on a Wix site. Um, and I can just say, knowing how Wix works, like they're typically not the fastest um, sites out there. So if we were to come in here and like advise on how to fi you know, fix the speed or how to improve this, I would um, first start with like potentially moving this to like either a WordPress site or work, you know, a different type of, um, service. Wix is just not, if you're looking for speed, it's not the fastest. So um, what I'm going to do here is just hit images. So you can just sort all the images, and then I'm going to sort by top down. So if I go here, um, we have this image, which I think is the background. Let's see. Um, can we preview it? No, we can't. Um, okay, so it's this picture, whatever that is. Let's go back here. And I'll kind of close this and kind of jump between this. So <laughs> ironically, it's just one of the smallest pictures on the entire page is right here. And that's what's causing, um, it's a 1.1 1. Um, 1 megabyte here. So if I go and inspect, um, now the way to fix this is to just upload the image again. And I will um, come in here. So here it is again. So what I can do is I can actually um, download it. So I can go here, I can drag it to my desktop. And then we use a tool um, that's free, Tiny PNG, and you can also use Tiny JPEG, J P E G, um, or J without the E, I think J P G. Yep. And you drag this JPEG into this thing, and 1.5 megabytes gets compressed and shrunken down to like fit in a much more reasonable size. And um, there you go. So it actually cut it right in half, which is amazing. 
And I think this is a pretty large image, so I could actually change the size and all that. But anyway, that just cuts the size of the, the file down in half. So tiny PNG, tiny JPEG, very quick way to kind of hack this work for any, any site. So um, coming back to the report, let's jump back here. Um, where were we? Report. How did we? There we go. Um, let's back and go back to performance. Um, so, but the real culprit here is, is JavaScript. Now, there's almost nothing you can do about this on Wix because this is all sitting behind their platform. So, not a lot we can do to really speed this page up. Um, if this is on another site, there's some really geeky things you can do. It's probably a good idea at that point to hire a developer to go in and, and take a look at it and really speed this up. Um, but yeah, that's, those are typically the most common culprits is just very large images. So your images never need to be more than like, you know, a thousand to 2000 pixels wide or tall. Um, but, uh, and then you can just compress them with those these different tools. There are plugins. If you're using WordPress, there's a tiny PNG plugin that will just compress every picture you upload. Um, so that's that's kind of what's going on um, there. But overall, um, that's just kind of looking at the at the reports. And the only thing I also wanted to mention was the social. And all that's saying is that basically, like, um, it doesn't have a Facebook Pixel installed. So definitely install a Facebook Pixel, even if you don't know what a Facebook Pixel is, and you. Um, uh, aren't doing any Facebook ads, go ahead and put the pixel on there because it's starting to collect data. If in a few months from now, you decide to run ads to people who have visited your website, that pixel will go back on all, the, it's recording that data constantly. So install the pixel, um, that's a free thing. It doesn't cost anything to install. Just go on Google, there's a few things, to, or YouTube, and, and there's a few tutorials on how to do that. Um, Instagram connected, YouTube, you know, do you need an Instagram account if you're doing, you know, soil health? I don't think so. Um, I don't use an Instagram account and we build websites. I would probably should have an Instagram account. Um, LinkedIn connected. So, um, you know, I don't know if you need a LinkedIn account. Um, so that's, uh, that's totally up to you. Depends on the industry. Um, you know, I think YouTube's great and, you know, Facebook are probably going to be the, the main, main uh, sites for this. That's that's what I would do. This is not all this, always the score is like, I could kind of have to look at it. And that's just saying, yes, there's links to these two things. Um, you know, so the only thing I would do there is install a pixel. Okay, so that's the report. There's a ton of stuff in here. Get this free report. I use this on our own website. It's a tool we created and I use it on our own website all the time to see what's going on. Um, and it will tell you like how usable is your website on different devices. Um, I did try this on an iPad and it was not easy to use. It's definitely not responsive. Um, so that would be something to look at as well. Um, and yeah, there's different SEO things it's going through. And then what's really cool is it will actually tell you uh, recommendations. If you come down to the bottom here, it's like reduce the files. So we talked about that. Um, it's saying there could be pages with more content on it. So you can actually click into these, I think, um, and it will tell you more about, about that. So there's some tech technical things, but if you, if you don't understand it, just skip over it and do the next thing. Set up and install Facebook Pixel. Um, and they kind of prioritize them there for you. So it's pretty nice. Um, cool. So I spent a lot of time on this one website. Um, that was my only other thing was, let's just um, make it responsive. So as as the browser gets smaller, this site is not responsive at all. So 60, 70% of all web traffic is now coming from a mobile device. Um, so 60, 70% of those people are having a terrible user experience. So um, just for this, let's like, um, you know, for Wayne, just giving some feedback. If that is um, helpful, check it out. Uh, I would definitely try do something responsive, make sure it works good on mobile. Uh, most of our websites, we make sure it looks good on mobile first, and then we go through and kind of upgrade it and, and make it look good on desktop. So it's kind of in reverse um, order. So, okay, I'm gonna try and move on to a second one real quick. Um, and let's see here, so I've got, um, There's an e-commerce site that I got from Greg Dunn, who has a friend, uh, Brad Ford, um, who is doing a candle wax thing. So let's jump over to that. And I'm just going to put this in real quick. And I think I had this pulled up earlier as well. I'm going to run a quick report. I think um, he's using a Shopify site. So let's go over here. Give some feedback here. OK, cool. So this is a site. Um, 
It's got different kind of um, products and stuff. The e-commerce side of this, I'm not an e-commerce expert, but I'm just going to talk about it from a web standpoint and which tools and stuff to use. Um, I, I, yeah, I guessed it was Shopify. They all kind of have a look about it. Once you see a Shopify, you just know it's Shopify. Um, and that's great. Shopify is a great tool. Um, I highly recommend Shopify if you're doing e-commerce. Um, I've also really, really, really liked Equid um, uh, right here. So if I Equid, this is a great little tool um, to get something up and running very quickly. And it looks awesome. Um, and you could probably get a store up and running in an hour or two. So great tool. Um, and it also propagates the mark this to other places. So I recommend that. This is another e-commerce. If you are building an e-commerce and you haven't started, Shopify is the most prominent. I think there's almost a million websites using Shopify. Um, but, uh, but that's how that goes. So um, let's uh, let's do that. I'm sorry my videos disappeared. I'm not really sure. What, I tried to do too many things at once when I did this uh, stream. So um, let's look at the report, see what's going on. So C+. Plus, um, Mostly you're on SEO. That's pretty common for Shopify. And then um, not a lot of social connection. So let's like jump down to social. Okay, so it's it's because of Shopify, it's gonna do all this like open graph tags. Doesn't even matter what that is, it just means that it talks to Facebook much better. Um it's got a Facebook pixel. You can even see his pixel right there. No Twitter. I don't know if you need a Twitter account. Instagram, definitely. If you're doing anything visual like this, you have to have an Instagram account. So that's good that you've connected that. YouTube, um, YouTube's awesome. I would definitely recommend uh, jumping on and, and creating a YouTube channel and just getting something started because a lot of the stuff, like I would show videos on like how it's made. Um, I probably have a video on this homepage. I think there's a stat that like if you put a video on your homepage, it just helps with SEO and gets it moved further up the page um, when you're doing a Google search. But the any crafty things, visual stuff, people love seeing how it's made stuff. So if you can do a time lapse, show how it's made, show the process, um, people love that stuff. Um, that would be great. So Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, I would definitely recommend for that. Um, I wouldn't worry about those other ones. So, And then let's go back. What else was not great? SEO. So SEO is a whole separate subject. I'm not going to like... Um, Go into all this. It's just gonna it's gonna go through kind of each page and tell you what's going on. Um, you know, so like basically there's a description of the page that they're saying is too short. So I would add, like, it doesn't even say um, it doesn't even say what uh, product this is. Like, what am I buying? Is this a is am I buying car parts? Am I buying like services? Like, what am I? What is the store? So I would in the description kind of put those things. Um, things that are good. They just want to include keywords and stuff. Again, I'm not going to go into like all of how to do SEO, but there's some good suggestions here on how to go in and tag specific um, keywords that that would rank really well. Um, there's some great tools out there. Um, the one from Neil Patel, um, if you go to like, I think it's Neil Patel. Um, Uber suggests, that's what I was thinking. Free tool, plug in your website. Um, here and it's going to spit out more data than you ever want on um, SEO and suggestions on keywords and all what to, all that what to do. So um, overall, really good. I would just say um, for e-commerce site, I think on a homepage, I would don't just jump right into the products. Like there's probably some really good stuff on the about page um, that is helpful. Like maybe like I said, a video on the homepage, something that separates you apart because there's just so many Shopify sites out there. There's so many e-commerce sites out there. So put something at the top here that's really unique to you. Um, tell a little bit of story. Are you a crap? Like, you, are you making this yourself? Are you like, what's what's the what's what's different about you? What makes you unique? And then kind of get into the products because um, you know it's not all about the products. People kind of want to buy into the the vision. So just from a, like a content standpoint, layout, those are things I would do. Some cool pictures. I have no idea. Oh, just Bermuda. Bermuda. Um, I guess that's part of the, the story. So cool. I don't know if it's helpful. I think um, overall it's good. Again, you're using Shopify, so a lot of the basics are being covered um, with that. So um, I had a chance, let's see, uh, someone else put in there. I think it was um, Anna Balkan, our friends here. They have, she has a local jewelry shop. Um, 
Oh, there's a few people actually put their stuff in. Let's see here. Um, I see that Anna did this. So let me do a quick, I think her website is Anna. There we go. And I'll just, I think I have this opened as well. Let that run real quick and I'll bring up her website. Um, you're kind of seeing different sites. Now this is a e-commerce platform. I happen to know this because I helped her a little a few months back. She's an uh, e-commerce site and um, this is uh, not on Shopify. This is actually on WordPress using WooCommerce. So another great um, tool. It's a little bit more manual than WordPress and definitely more manual than my Equid option, um, but still really good. Um, so let's take a look at it. This is, this is doing great. Um, a minus, not too bad. So let's just jump to performance since that's the lowest one. I'm probably gonna have the same thing. Okay, so pictures are taking up um, a good portion than JavaScript. That's just, so JavaScript, you can definitely compress it. There's things you can do. It's just way too technical to include in a 30 minute crash course on web fixes. So um, uh, yeah. That's how I'll just focus on the images. Same exact thing, kind of run through this, inspect. Um, we click into uh, this here. I go to the, the network tab, I mean, and I'm just gonna reload the page. And then it'll kind of tell us everything that's going on here. And it's it's super interesting. This is, I'll take, let me just take a second here and explain this. Um, so there's a thing called, um, a waterfall, the way that your website's loading. So like it's loading all these different files one after the other. And you can see that kind of happening up here. Um, the first, it's first loading this page and it goes and gets that thing. There's a lot of really interesting things that um, are happening behind the scenes um, with your website. So some stuff's not even getting loaded. So some errors there, payment dark. Um, so that as well, when I see a red um, um, thing like that, or I think if you go to the console, you're gonna see the same error, that will slow down your website so much. So it's either get rid of it. Um, oh, this looks like it's on Shopify. Maybe it moved to Shopify. Um, good job, that looks great. Um, and so this is another Shopify site. Um, but just kind of go through this and uh, uh, if you're getting errors like this, like either go find, actually there's WordPress. So I'm not sure where this is. Maybe there's some assets coming from Shopify CDN there. So sorry, um, but these things aren't even loading anyway. So I would go in and try and find where these are or try and remove them from your site altogether. Because what happens is your browser starts to like try to download a file and then here it's taking 1.73 seconds of time just to go look for this one file which isn't even there. So it's you're basically slowing down your whole website just for that one uh, file. Actually, there's a bunch of little things that are missing. So I would I would just kind of look through that, go through the console, go to the network. There's a bunch of images here that are missing. Um, I will tag her in this video so she can come back and watch this at some point. Um, and then let's get the size, which is actually what I was getting to. So these pictures are pretty small, but still like think of this like when you have so many pictures that are all half a megabyte, that actually adds up um, quite a lot. So if I click into this, um, this again could definitely be shrunk down. So I'm going to pull it over here. I'm going to go to the um, tiny PNG. Just bring it back into this. Um, and this is that's actually a WebP um, file. So I actually would probably need to copy this a different way. But let's see here. Um, pull that in. For some reason it keeps bringing it as a WebP. I don't know why. I guess some of the stuff is hosted on Shopify. I'd be super interested to see how she's organizing this, but it seems, I don't know why WordPress and Shopify are kind of competing with each other here. Also, why is this picture coming in so many times? So these, these are things that like, again, you get kind of into the, like, and again, this picture is coming in like six times and then the same picture is coming in. Yes, yeah, so there's some weird stuff going on here. So the picture back there, I don't know, I think it's just loading a number of different times. That's something to look into. Again, not this isn't stuff that's going to like all of a sudden get you a ton more sales. Hey, James, good to see you. Um, uh, and uh, but this is just a great way to to kind of get a quick overview of like if your website feels slow, there's probably something wrong. Like your website should be fast. It should be you click. It's right there. You click 
something's loading. Uh, those are what people are expecting today. So I think there's a stat that most people um, make a decision on a website in the first seven seconds or eight seconds if they're going to stay or if this is relevant. If five of those seconds, four or five of those seconds are sitting there waiting for your pictures to load, like you've you don't have much chance of people sticking around as a new customer. So this, the, these seconds matter a lot. Um, so check out that this little tool. Like I said, it's just um, the, I put the link in there. It's just start.anovo slash web report. You guys can check it out. It's just a free tool um, our team created to help you out. Um, and you can use as many times as you want. There's no, it's just like a tool we use. We make, use this for ourselves all the time. So we just thought we'd make it available um, to anybody who wants it. Uh, that's pretty much everything. If, if you're in here and you're in the comments, I see James here. If you have a website you want me to review, I've got a couple more minutes. We can go through and get one more. I know we got to three, which was faster than I thought we would get. Um, let's see here. Oh, I got my video back. Cool. Let's bring that in real quick. Um, cool. So yeah, uh, let's see. I'm going to try and look for one more person. Who is this? Um, Lance Campbell dropped one in. Let's see here. I'm going to try and grab his. What website did he use? Art by Lance. I think I actually helped him with this website. So same thing. We're just going to go over here. Um, Go to start uh, report. I'll pull it up real quick. Try to run that report. So um, this is, um, I think he, uh, Lance has these either these like kind of custom treatment things for um, all kinds of stuff, like various categories and and stuff that people they send him a photo, and then uh, he like treats it in this cool way. It makes it kind of like a, a painting almost. Um, and I want, he has some secret sauce of how he does it and it looks awesome. Um, so he'll do all kind of custom stuff. So this is just a site to kind of browse all that. So a video up here, she's using uh, YouTube, which is a great option. Vimeo is a good option too. Um, <clears throat> uh, whoops, let's go to report. I went that too quickly. Okay. Um, <laughs> Why is this not working? There we go. Um, so I'll let this load, just kind of take a look at it. Now, um, I have a, this website I think I'm actually hosting on my own server, so I, I'm hoping this is going to be a pretty good report. Um, but I don't think this site was ever optimized for speed. So I don't think, yeah, the performance isn't going to be great. But let's let it load all the way. It does kind of adjust this as you go. So don't freak out when it starts and you're getting an F. When you start, just give it a second. It will um, churn and like and basically hey, there, it's all done. So we're getting a C minus on the performance. Um, let's take a look here and see what's going on. Um, okay, images obviously can be huge. <clears throat> the JavaScript is is huge. That can be compressed. So there's some great tools. I happen to know this on a WordPress site. So there's some like tools that you can use that will minify and shrink down um, the JavaScript. To probably cut this down to like two thirds of it. Um, the total page size is pretty large. So just fixing those images, um, like I know it kind of sound like a stuck record here, but <laughs> these images are the biggest culprit on most of these sites. So I just, I have to spend time on it. And it's the like, it's funny when I go to people say, start with their website and they've got some giant like five or six megabyte, um, you know, image there. Uh, it's pretty, pretty funny to see that. So we have this GIF. Uh, I don't even know. Oh, okay, and that is a pretty cool GIF. So I don't think you're going to be able to crunch that down further. Um, what you can do is again with some plugins. I think it's um, uh, WordPress. Let me pull it up. I'll tell you guys exactly what it is. But if you're on a WordPress site, um, which we have our our site on WordPress, I'm a I'm a reluctant WordPress user, um, but we use it. It's it is free and. Um, if you optimize things just right, you can get it. You get it to, to kind of do what you want. Um, I'm just going to our list of plugins. There's a great little plugin, um, W3 Total Cache. Um, it's this one right here. Um, so 
um, check this out. Like basically you can install this, um, if this is Lance or whatever you want to install this, you can basically save bandwidth by minifying JS. This is literally a check box. You check the box, it minifies a ton of, ton of stuff and it'll fix a lot of these problems that we're, we're showing up over here. Um, so that GIF, GIF is large, let's go. But even these little images, um, I think this is actually the picture that's behind the video. So you won't be able to change that. Um, each of these buttons are, are pretty big. So I just crunched those down. Oh, 44 kilobytes is actually tiny. Um, but uh, see, it's taking a little bit longer to load. So that can actually, for such a small file, it's taking too long because it's loading it from the server. So if you want to get really geeky, like part of that total cache thing is you can actually store the files like on Amazon S3 or um, a CloudFront or something that actually um, is a CDN. Um, there's lots of CDNs. If you look for WordPress CDN, they're going to get inundated with great little plugins that will come in and like basically host these on a way that will deliver it a lot faster. So um, this is this site um, is loading and let's see what the report said. In four seconds, that's that's like I like to see stuff loading in one one to one and a half seconds. If ideally, like we're trying to get it in that sub. Um, sub one second range, but you really have to kind of uh, know what you're doing to kind of crunch your site down to that that level. A lot of these things like WordPress, um, especially Shopify, WooCommerce, they don't, they're not made for speed right out of the box. You have to kind of tweak it. You have to turn on different plugins. You have to really spend time with it. So this is this tutorial is more just about how to diagnose it and kind of know where to start to start solving the problem. So. Definitely, we're big on speed. We're very big on um, simple, like getting that speed super, super fast because we feel like that's something that's so easy to fix. Um, obviously, as developers, <laughs> we would say it's easier to fix, but it is very. It's very logical. Like you either make the pictures fast, smaller, and you make, and you see like you know a faster um, uh, speed there. So anyway, all that to say, um, definitely recommend kind of putting in a report. Do this every couple months. Um, so you can kind of see the progress and like uh, see if you're making changes. You can make a bunch of changes, run the report again, and uh, and go from there. So hope this has been helpful. Um, if it's been helpful, just comment. If you have questions, comment below. Um, I'd be happy to uh, answer them. Just tag me in the in the comments here, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, um, wherever you're watching. And uh, hope yeah, this is great. We're gonna we do these trainings every every Tuesday. Um, so either subscribe on YouTube or follow us on Facebook and you'll get some free training. So hopefully we get some some free advice and, and hopefully this was helpful to a few of you. And if you didn't, if I didn't mention your website, check out the link that I dropped and uh, you can do that. So have an awesome rest of your Tuesday and a great rest of your week.